Bobby Orr is one of the greatest hockey players to ever live, but he was also a victim of one of the worst cases of agent misconduct in sports history. Here's what happened. In 1976, nobody in the NHL expected Bobby Orr to leave the Boston Bruins. Everyone expected him to retire with the team, but Orr's agent, Alan Eagleson, had other ideas. Eagleson was the most powerful agent in the NHL, the executive director of the NHL's Players Association, and close friends with Chicago Blackhawks owner, Bill Wirtz. So when Orr hit free agency in the summer of 1976, the Blackhawks offered him a multi-million dollar contract with $3 million guaranteed, one that Eagleson said the Bruins couldn't match, so he signed with Chicago. But there was one problem. Eagleson never told Orr about the Bruins' massive offer, a five-year contract that included an 18.5% ownership stake in the team. Orr only played 26 games for the Blackhawks from 1976 to 1979 due to injuries, and never spoke to Eagleson again after finding out about the Bruins' real offer. And the worst part? Bobby Orr's 18.5% ownership stake in the Boston Bruins would have been worth more than $240 million today. Now that's messed up.